Our Father God, man, we are humbled by a moment like this, that you would be the author of love. So we're here to celebrate Corey and Megan's love. We're here with a sense of anticipation that you have joined us as our special guest of honor. Please be felt profoundly by every heart in the room as marriage happens in Jesus' name. Amen. Here we are. I can't believe today marks the end of our engagement and the first day of our marriage. I specifically remember being a little girl, laying in my bed at night and praying about what it would be like to have a husband one day. Thank you for being this man. I'm so blessed and grateful that you're the man that I get to marry and choose to love every single day for the rest of our lives. Megan, the moment I met you is the moment I discovered what an everlasting love is. That moment happened in the most romantic of places. Not Rome, not Italy, but Sandburg dorms, freshman year of college. The moment you stepped into my room, you captivated me. First thing I noticed was your smile, the smile that lights up my whole life. The only thing that can make that smile better is when it's accompanied with the most infectious laugh I've ever heard. I had never met someone like you, and when you know, you know. I'm so excited to see you. I'm so grateful that you begged me, and yes, I will never ever let you forget the begging me to date you all those years ago. We love vinyl, so it's a vinyl record that says our story. Being able to watch firsthand the man that you've grown into from the boy that I met is indescribable. And while you do ironically check off all the things on my childhood list, and yes, that does include super hot, there really is only one check that I care about now. That box is a man who loves God first, me second, and leads our family towards his kingdom always. I run to the altar today because I know for certainty I'm making the easiest decision I will have in my life. You've shown me a love that I didn't know was possible. You're the biggest blessing to me, and I mean it when I say I would not be nearly the man I am today if you had not walked into that dorm room and into my life. Father, thank you so much for today. Thank you for these two rings and the hands that they're going to be placed on in a, just a short time. We pray that you watch over their hearts, that you lead them so close to you and close to each other, mm, that they can just be so blessed in their marriage. Please watch over our kids. We know you love them more than we can possibly imagine. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. That's real cute. I can't believe we're here. Let's have a day. Let's have a day. <laughs> hey, are you united Thank you guys. family? I know. I love that. I love that. But most importantly, the biggest promise that I can make you today is that through all the peaks, valleys, and in-betweens of our marriage, I will always encourage you to lean on Jesus first and join you in guiding our family with him at the center always. I love you so much, and I'm so excited to marry you today. I'll see you at the altar, your future wife. Are you guys? <laughs> okay. A threefold cord is not easily broken, and so I vow to make my life's purpose from this day forward, serving you and leading our family through Jesus. This bond is the most important thing in my life, and I promise to protect it with maximum security and not take the immensity of this once-in-a-lifetime love for granted. I vow to always choose you. I choose you today. I choose you tomorrow. I choose you for eternity. I love you. Now, as your friend, my highest hope for you is that just as love has endured and been endearing before you, 
that your love will grow to the point that I can take your names, place them in that scripture, make it read. Corey and Megan are patient with each other. Corey and Megan are kind to each other. They do not envy, they are not proud, nor do they boast. Neither Corey nor Megan is rude to the other, nor self-seeking, nor easily angered. They keep no record of the law. Forgive and forget. They delight not in evil, but rejoice in the truth. They will always hope in God, always trust each other, always protect their marriage, and their love will persevere, and their marriage will never fail. By the authority invested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ in the state of Wisconsin, I pronounce that you are husband and wife. Corey, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>on in their relationship I was started to see the joy love support and endless laughter that Corey brought Megan there's that's a, such a strong sense of security knowing that my sister is spending the rest of her life with somebody like you Corey wishing a lifetime of happiness to two of the most deserving people I know to Megan and Corey Crable I wanted to first say thank you to Jeremy and Melissa uh, you guys are fantastic people. You've raised such an amazing daughter, and we just love her like our own. We can't thank you enough. Your belief in God, and, and that has kind of trickled down to Corey, and that is so special to us, um, and it's really kind of renewed me as well. So I want to say thank you. Corey, seeing your reaction today when I got to walk her down the aisle, oh boy. Makes me very proud and grateful to be your father. Megan, you are so beautiful today. One of the things I am the most proud of you is what Paul talks about. He talks about perseverance and how it leads to growth. Your perseverance is one of the things that I have at the top. The day you give your daughter away is a very full day. You get to laugh, you get to cry a frickin' lot, and you get to feel so much joy and gratitude. What I admire about Corey is when he truly, deeply wants something, um, he's going to make sure that he gets it in any way humanly possible. And Megan, I hope you realize how much of a no that is to you, more than him. Corey, I couldn't be proud of the man that you are. I'm honored and humbled to be able to stand here with you today on the biggest day of your life. All right, so Megan and Corey, you two are exactly where God knew you would be today but he loves you too much to leave you right here. To the adventure he has you on, and may God's love always lead you. Cheers.